Good morning everyone. I'm Shubhita Gupta, Assistant Professor in Department of Electronics, Master Chari College of Applied Sciences, University of Delhi. Today I'll be presenting on semiconductor devices. These are the topics which I will be covering in my presentation. Firstly, I'll talk about formation of depletion region in diode and then the, about basics of junction field effect transistor. So let's first talk about PN junction, which we often call as diode. It consists of P and N-type semiconductor. In P-type semiconductor, we have excess of holes. Therefore, holes are majority carriers and electrons are minority carriers in P-type. Whereas in n-type semiconductor, we have excess of electrons. Therefore, electrons are majority carriers and holes are minority carriers in n-type. So we can say that there exists a concentration gradient across the device. Because of this concentration gradient, diffusion of electrons from n-type to p-type and diffusion of holes from p-type to n-type is there. This process goes on and as a result of this movement of charge carriers across the junction, a voltage is built up. This voltage is called barrier potential and it is dependent on the semiconductor material used to fabricate the device. Since the movement of electrons from n-type to b-type and of holes from p-type to n-type is maximum around the junction, Therefore, a depletion region is formed around the junction. This depletion region consists of immobile charge carriers which results from movement of electrons and holes across the junction. What happens when electrons move from n-type to p-type, they leave behind positive donor ions and when holes move from p-type to n-type, they leave behind negative acceptor ions. These ions constitute the depletion region around the junction. For the flow of current in the device, this barrier potential which results in barrier height has to be overcome. This means that for easy flow of current, all the carriers are required to move in the device. For that, the breakdown of this depletion region is necessary. Once depletion region is not there, then current will flow easily because of unobstructed movement of charge carriers. Now then let's talk about different types of biasing. Now we generally apply two types of biasing across the diode, forward biasing and reverse biasing. When P side of diode is connected to positive terminal of a battery and N side of diode is connected to negative terminal of a battery, then we say that diode is forward biased. In forward bias, width of the depletion region is less and carriers move towards the junction. Now let's talk about reverse biasing. When P side of diode is connected to negative of a battery and N side of diode is connected to positive of a battery, then the diode becomes reverse biased. As a result, carriers move away from the junction and width of the depletion region is more. The figure on the right shows the IV characteristics of diode. In forward bias, when the applied voltage is increased beyond a certain voltage called knee voltage, which is the characteristic of a semiconductor material, then a certain increase in current is there in the device. So we can say that device is turned on. If we talk about reverse bias characteristics, then till the breakdown voltage, there is only negligible amount of current flows, but after this voltage, even when there is a minimal increase in the applied voltage, there is a sudden increase in flow of current. At this breakdown voltage, actually there is a breakdown in the depletion region. Therefore, current suddenly increases. So this is how IV characteristics of diode looks like. Now, next one is junction field effect transistor. 
The device has three terminals, source, drain, and gate. There are two voltages applied across the device, namely gate to source voltage and drain to source voltage. The gate to source voltage is applied such that source is made positive with respect to gate. The drain to source voltage is applied such that source is at negative potential with respect to drain. The gate to source voltage always has to be smaller than drain to source voltage so as to make source negative with respect to drain. The purpose of source is to emit electrons and of drain is to collect electrons. The chaffet shown in figure is n-channel. Since it is n-channel, so electrons are the majority carriers. This curve shows IP characteristics of chaffet. There are three regions of operation, linear, saturation and breakdown. It can be seen from the figure that in linear region, as we increase voltage, so current will also increase. In saturation region, irrespective of the increase in voltage, current remains almost constant. In breakdown region, current abruptly increases. Now I am going to explain working of the device. In this figure, these two regions are the depletion regions. Since gate is connected to P of JFET and it is made negative with respect to source, so gate P regions are reverse biased. As a result, there will be depletion region on both sides. Now initially for smaller voltage VTS, and let's say VTS equal to 2 volt, then as we increase VTS, electrons move from source to drain. So curve is linear. Now as drain side is reverse bias, so depletion region is more at drain end. As we go on increasing VTS, the drain end will become more reverse bias and the depletion region at both sides will increase and touch each other on further increase in VTS. Therefore, due to just the concentration gradient, movement of carriers is there in the device. Since because of increased depletion region width at both sides, the channel is closed. And we say that channel is pinched off. Therefore, in the figure of IV characteristics, there is no substantial increase in current even on increasing voltage. This voltage is called pinch off voltage when current starts saturating. After a certain voltage, breakdown in the device occurs. At this voltage, there is a breakdown in the depletion region at both the sides and as a result, there is a heavy flow of carriers in the channel which leads to abrupt increase in current. So this region is called breakdown region. Furthermore, if we increase VTS to say 4 volt this time, then the curve will shift downwards because as we increase VTS, the PN junctions at gate side will become more reverse bias and more depletion region will be there. As a result, less current will flow in the device because of obstruction created in the motion of carriers due to more depletion region than in the previous case. So this is all about JFET. Thank you so much. Thank you for your patient listening and watching my video. Take care everyone. Bye.